Hi everyone, it's Lisa with Ink and Inspirations. Thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be making this cute little project with the Warm Hugs Bundle from the mini catalog. It's a recording of a Facebook Live and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Okay, so today I am using uh, products from the Heartwarming Hug Suite. And I have to tell you, when I first saw this, I thought, oh man, all those little pieces and the cup and uh, I mean, really, I do think that because, you know, I'm all about getting a project done and quick and, you know, making lots of them. And occasionally I will do an over the top technique -y card with lots of pieces and layers, but this, I thought, I don't know, it's just too cute. And when they had the coffee cups that are food safe, and I think you can put coffee or cocoa in them. It says they're food safe, so I'm assuming, okay? The carrier, which we won't be working with today, that'll be another video that I post, but I'm working with this bundle and this, and I'll be showing you a project with this, but I'm using the Gilded Autumn Specialty Paper to make a fall project. So, this is what I'm going to be making. I mean, you can do this for anything and you'll probably see a Halloween one too, sooner or later. Okay, so before we get on with that, I wanna show you, here's the stamp set. Cute, cute little uh, stamps to embellish and then the dies are here to go with it. See this? I mean, when I see a die set like this, I think, oh, that's so many pieces. <laughs> but I, I loved it. Oh, I have it upside down. So you can get this and this as a bundle with 10% off. But in the suite, hi, Carol. In the suite, there is another um, stamp set that coordinates, and it's uh, wrapped in Christmas. So it has sentiments that you can use either with these dies, okay? But the, this would make for great Christmas cards too. And I'm planning on doing some videos with that. So, but today we're focusing on this and the cups. Let's see, where's, here it is. The mini coffee cups. I believe there are eight in a box, lids and cups. Okay, there's one and I'm gonna get the lid out. And I'll show you the lid even has the little opening there, okay? So, super cute. All right, let's get started. Okay, and again, maybe a little rusty here, but we'll get it done. Okay, so, for the dies for the cup, you have two pieces, like this and like this, for the wrap, okay? Yeah, me too, Lisa. <laughs> and then, um, I have, is this the paper I'm using? Goodness, yes, goodness. Okay, so this is from the Gilded Autumn, beautiful Cajun craze and copper, okay? And so for this, I cut this four by six, and that's generous to cut both dies at the same time, okay? But don't forget, if you want these little fancy schmancy, pieces and I love that they gave us enough for all for both sides of the uh, wrap and you can lay this on here and I I have to tell you I don't have my magnetic plate yet for my new stamping cut and emboss machine it's it will be on my next order straighten that out a little bit but you want to lay these in here to die cut them when you and run it all through at the same time. The long one goes on the top and then the short shorter one goes on the bottom there and we're going to cut that all at the same time. So fingers crossed it runs through smoothly or I'll be cutting more paper. Okay. And then for the little scallop right here, okay? I've got these two pieces. Now you have to run this through twice, okay? Cause you need two of them. One's a top and one's a bottom. So I cut this four and a quarter by five and a half. It's a quarter sheet of cardstock. 
and I'm gonna run that through twice, okay? And then I believe I have the other pieces cut except for the stamped image, and we'll do that later. Let's get the wrap made, okay? Let's do that first. Okay, I'm gonna move my cup out of the way and get my stamping cut and emboss machine. Love it. So cute. And you know, it folds up for storage. Like, you know, it pops up like this, both sides, but I hardly, I hardly ever do that. I have room on my counter for it. So I usually just leave it open for convenience for me. But if you have to store yours in between uses, great way. Or if you travel with it, super awesome. Okay, so let's see. Now, um, we're going to do this very carefully. Okay, so um, on your cutting plates and your platforms, they're numbered so that you know what you need. One is on the bottom, then two, then three is a cutting plate, and you see my threes backwards? That's because I flip it, as Stampin' Up! suggested, so that um, it doesn't bow. You know how they like to bow if you, once, when you use them quite a bit? Okay, so this, I've used this little die, these dies quite a bit too, so I had to kind of straighten them out. Come okay, on, line that up. I'm trying not to breathe on it so it didn't move after I get it set. So, see how easy this is, especially since you can run it and get the, the foo foo, the little, uh, dotted piece, the little, what should I call it, the embellished edge done at the same time. I mean, that's brilliant. And all of them at the same time. So if I had my magnetic sheet, I wouldn't be fumbling around like this. So it's on my next order. And y'all, it's not like the magnetic platform that we had with the other die cutting machine. It, remember it was thick and then it had strips of magnets down the middle and sometimes your pieces wouldn't jump around yeah this one is a solid magnet sheet and it's thin it's thin so I can't wait to try it and it's self healing if you cut on it it's self healing I love that okay I'm fumbling but I know y'all are patient with me I'm trying to get it all. If I quit touching it, good gravy, Lisa. Okay. Hold your breath. Put the plate over carefully. Got it. Then I press down really hard. And I'm going to run it through. Okay. Let's see how that did. It's probably not perfect would be much better with the uh, magnetic platform, but you know, I don't have it yet. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off, put it back on my little magnet sheet, and I get my magnet sheets from Stampin' Storage, y'all. They have great storage uh, and magnet sheets for things like this. Okay, so see, look, and all those little bits popped out how cool is that? That's a great die cutting machine. Now the finer and the more intricate, you know, I do, you do have to use your wire, die, die brush. Spit it out, Lisa. Your die brush. I'm going to scrape this off, all those bits off in my trash so I can cut the other parts. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now let's do the next one. We're going to do the scalloped edges now. Okay, let's pull this over. Okay. Okay, I've got the same sandwich. This over here. And then I have mint macaron to go with that uh, gilded, you can't see this, can you? Gilded autumn uh, paper. And I can only cut two at a time 
roll this through. Now, I try, you know, I usually try to put uh, my die cutting machine parallel to the camera, but y'all, that is so hard for me to crank that way. I have to do it like this. Okay, so here's my piece. Here are the pieces. Look at the little stitched edge. Isn't that cute? Okay. Oops, sorry, y'all. Bump the camera. All right. Let's do the next one. Cut those two. And I don't have to worry about how I'm placing them because I just cut it. Again, this is about a quarter sheet of cardstock. Four and a quarter by five and a half just to give myself plenty of room. I tried, some one time I tried cutting it way more narrow and uh-uh, I mean, why? Okay, so I've got four of those and now I'm gonna start putting it together. So let me get the stamp and cut and emboss machine out of the way and we'll use it again in a bit. But right now we're gonna put the, the wrap together. Okay. So, move that back up where you can see. All right, so now, this is gonna piece together like this, okay? So, it has been very humid here, and I've been having trouble, I've tried tear and tape, but I'm gonna go with glue dots again, okay? Um, wait, I was going to step and getting ahead of myself. Let's put these on first. And I still am going to use glue dots. Let me get my take your pick. And so I'm going to put it like in the corner and I kind of scrunch up that, that glue dot a little bit. Can you see that? So, so y'all, isn't the weather crazy? How about Colorado? Anybody from Colorado that had 90 degree weather and then snow the next day? What is up with that? I mean, and y'all prayers for our Louisiana friends that suffered so much loss and also for those affected by the terrible fires in California. Prayers for all. Okay, so I'm kind of scrunching up the little glue dot trying not to get it to peek through the little openings there, okay? And so this is to put on the little scalloped edge. <laughs> Edges, I should say. So um, I will go ahead and tell you that I don't know if I will be live next week we are going to Texas for a few days. I have some doctor appointments, and so we're going for that. And I don't know when we'll be back because they're, the appointments are not all scheduled yet. So, but I'll, I'll be posting, but I may not be live, okay? I don't have the setup for it at my dad's house. So. I'm hoping this video is, um, if you're watching this eventually on YouTube, I was able to save it from my Facebook Live and share it here on YouTube, if that happens, hopefully. Okay, so I'm still doing, I'm putting three, one in the middle and one on each end. And you know, this is so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna show you in a minute how, what I put, what I thought ideas for the inside. Okay, so this is a long piece. I'm gonna line it up like that where the scallop peeks out. And I love how it shows, the color shows through those little perforations. Oh, Linda, for your, uh, for when you're die cutting, Linda, Yeah, you have, Linda, you have to send scotch removable tape. Okay, is that, where do you get, where did you get that? 
I'm not going out much, so uh, I send Jackie out for groceries, and he's so good at it now. <laughs> it's like I am so spoiled. I send him a list, and sometimes some of the, the stuff I've had him look for is like, I don't know where this is in the store, Jackie, but ask somebody. And he does, and he comes back with the right thing. So blessed. He helps me out. Look at me. Why am I doing that? I already put them on there. Okay, so now I like to turn it over this way, and you want to put it where the stitching is like going in, not the back side. Okay, you can tell it's much prettier the right way. So it's right, it's right side to the back of the wrap, the designer paper. Okay, and then one more. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> Jackie going to the grocery store. Yeah. If I'm saying he made, oh, you have yours delivered. Okay, Linda, thank you. Yeah, Kathy, in uh, this little rural, rural area, we don't have that. Okay, I could see a glue dot peeking through there. Okay, so now... Before I put them together, I kind of curl it just a little bit with my bone folder just to get it going in that curvy. So now here, I see that my, I ex overextended my little mint macaron. Oh, really, Linda? Using that saved you a lot of time? I'm going to have to try that, look for that. I do still want to try the uh, magnetic, new magnetic plate, though, platform. Okay, so that little tag is what gets the, the adhesive. Oh, I'm getting tired of standing. I, I, have, I am in the market, y'all, and maybe y'all can help me. My work area right here is counter height, okay? And because I like standing to work most of the time. But these old bones, they get tired standing in my feet. And so I need to have a good counter height, lumbar support chair. And I was looking at like drafting chairs because of the height, you know, I needed to go up high and possibly with no arms. And I've looked on Amazon. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something here. I came down a little farther with the scallop on this side and so it wouldn't even so i can easily adjust with those glue dots okay anyway i'm looking for a chair and jackie jackie said we need to go to office depot or office supply well i haven't been out to office depot so and you know you look on amazon and you get you know i read the reviews but it's like, oh man, if I get this in it, I don't want a squeaky chair. I don't want a, I want a good support. <coughs> Excuse me. So if anyone knows or uses something like that, they are nice size cups. Yes, they are. They're not, they're probably like, you know when you buy hot cocoa at a football game or something? It's about that size. I mean, it's plenty big for a small cup of coffee. It's probably maybe even the smallest uh, Starbucks. Not sure. Okay, so see, I've got this together now. Isn't that cute? And watch, watch. Bam, there we go. Okay, so I try to match the seam with the seam on the cup like that, okay, just like that. I mean, isn't that cute? And there is, I'm gonna try to figure out how to wrap the cup too, okay? But I haven't done it yet. First time I worked with this was yesterday and I was so excited. Okay, let me show you something while I'm playing. You can put candy in here, okay. I have 
you could put two little hand sanitizers. Look, I even have two. All right. Um, look, I know it's a Father's Day gift card, but gift card will fit. How cute is that? Okay. Um, M&M's, of course. Let's see how many of these bags I can fit in there. One, two, three. I mean, come on now, four bags. Cute. Okay. I have some little nail files. You could put a bottle, some nail polish in there. See? Looks my color street. Lisa Spencer, if you're still here. Okay, so anyway, lots of little goodies you can fit in there. All right, so next. Now you can decorate the top. I'm not for this one because we're going to use ribbon, okay? So I'm gonna pop this on. We're gonna play like there's something in it. But now we're going to work with the sentiment. So, I have a piece of, scrap piece of Whisper White, and I am using this Eat, Drink, and Be Cozy. That's what I used on the first one, but I think I'm gonna use I Like You a Latte on this one, okay? And let's see, I may reverse it. Oh, you know what? This isn't Whisper White. I went with very vanilla. I guess you can tell that. Look at that vanilla against the white. I just thought it would be pretty in a contrast to the white on here and go with the, the designer paper well because I didn't have any white in my designer paper. You do have to snap these lids on, but that's a good thing because it won't, it doesn't fall off. Okay. All right. So for this, I'm going to switch up the color. I'm going to use the same colors, but this time I'm going to do the sentiment in, what did I do it in with? And um, Cajun Craze. And I want to show you a little tip. This is the first time I've used this photopolymer stamp right here. And so I'm taking Versamark ink, which is our clear embossing ink. And I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper and stamp off. This kind of helps, I have found, keep your stamps from getting so stained. Not that that matters. I mean, that means they're well loved and used, right? But it kind of conditions a stamp and then it helps, you know, reds and purples and oranges and really will stain the stamp. So let's see how this does. Okay, I'm gonna do the little uh, ring, decorative ring here in mint macaron. See how this works. I may end up changing, but. Okay, like it. And then I'm gonna do I like you a latte in Cajun Grace. And I love its photopolymer because easy to see and stamp okay there we go that's cute love those two colors together so now let's get old stamp and cut and emboss machine back and we're going to get the die that matches this outer ring it's a hexagon really but with a little flare okay so I'm gonna line that up around there layer that on top hold it down and roll it through good Pam I'm glad it worked for you it did help. I mean, look, this is, you can barely tell, and I haven't even cleaned it yet. Pretty cool, huh? All right. I like you a latte. 
Okay, so now, on this one too, you want to take your bone folder and kind of round it so it's got the bend in, okay? And I'm going to call this the front, and I'm going to put that right there. And you see how, you know, I could have backed it with another circle, but it would have covered up the scallops. And this really stands out against the Cajun Craze designer paper, I think. So there really wasn't a need. Like Jackie says, work smarter, not harder. You know, it's just, I'm putting two, I might put one at the top and bottom too. Okay, there we go, give it a good press, okay, then I die cut the little cut. I was going to stamp it, but I thought it'd be a little uh, more, um, you know, jazzy, classy with just the copper. This is the burnished metallic cardstock at the, that's in the mini catalog, and it comes in three shades. I think it's bronze, gold, and copper. And uh, this was from another project I used. If you saw my plaid project, I had a bunch of little squares left over that had the adhesive back on them. So I can just pull that off. I cut that out of one of those squares and I'll put that right there. Cute. Now for the fancy smanchy finale here. I have, this is the ribbon that goes with that um, Autumn, beautiful autumn medley. This is basket weave and metallic ribbon combo. I cut about 26 inches of this because I wanted to give myself plenty of room. And the ribbon is gonna come up and tie. It's kind of like the closure. This is if you're giving it, you know, with a good inside, kind of like you're wrapping your gift and putting the bow on. So, but don't y'all think this is a cute idea for a treat? instead of a bag or a box, it's something different. I mean, you could even put cookies in it, little cookies that would be good to have with your coffee break, you know? I think, I think it's great for Starbucks gift cards too, or wherever you get your coffee. No plug for Starbucks, I just, that's just where my girls love to go. Okay, so I'm tying that bow. And see how that gave me plenty of room and you just make this fancy and that's beautiful rich ribbon that you must get if you are getting this paper because it is beautiful with it. Okay, now. Trim that off. Okay, so now one little final touch this ribbon, this little copper thin ribbon, is also in that ribbon bundle. See how you get both the copper and the um, and macaron? And I'm going to use a, I'm going to use my Texas slang. I'm a gonna <laughs> put it right here. Oop. And you could put glue dots behind this to keep it because, I mean, it does fit just right. I just need to push it up for it. Now, super cute. Isn't that cute? Don't you like it? I, I would, it was so fun. I mean, I, I could make lots of these. And I already have some ideas to try for some other things like I've seen in the catalog. So there, there's our project for today. Now, just hang on, let me show you something else. On the next, this one, which I may do a video on later, but y'all are seeing it right now. Here's one in holiday mode. How about that? I used um, the same stamp set, okay? And, but with the heartwarming hugs designer paper and this mossy meadow striped ribbon. And I'll show you what dyes I used. Use the paper with the red, real red, and then I die cut this 
with this, it punches out the center circle. And then um, I stamped the candy canes and it's two-step stamping, okay? You can do the outline and then the inner part, the stripes, and all that's on there with, this is liquid glue, glue dots underneath here, and this one is cut with this stitched circle. You can't really see it, but it's also the pa this paper from Heartwarming Hugs, okay? So, y'all, I just, I can't tell you, I just love this set, this bundle. I think it's a super cute idea. Uh, you know, coffee is a big thing right now. I mean, and not everybody's a coffee drinker, but if you don't drink coffee, usually you drink cocoa or tea, and it works for either. And even if you don't drink any of those, you could use these as a little gift holder, okay? All right, we made it through. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you if you have shared the video. I will be doing, every week on my Facebook page here, I put a qu fun question. I think this week is socks or no socks. And then I do a random drawing for a winner. And so I'll do that drawing tomorrow and post a new question on Friday. So be sure and look for that, it's fun. No, it wasn't socks or no socks, was it? Yes, socks or no socks. The other one question I asked, which is not a drawing, but it's a great list, is what book are you reading? So be sure and look for that because you might find some ideas of some good reads for the coming season. And um, thank you for sharing. Thank you for your likes and your comments. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you for sure week after next for a live. I will be posting videos and projects those. And um, so anyway, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you all soon. Let me know if you have questions. Take care. Bye-bye.